What is going on guys? Today I am back with another Destiny video and today I'm going to show you guys how you can obtain the Red Memorial Exotic Suros Regime Ornament. But before we get into it, if you guys do enjoy the video, leaving a like is much appreciated. And as always, to be with a chance of winning my weekly emblem giveaway, simply leave a comment down below. Now we all know that the Treasure of the Age packages are the main place to obtain the new ornaments that come with the Age of Triumph. But there is one not obtainable from these packages and it's the Red Memorial for the Surus Regime. Now to start off your road to get this, you have to collect the Age of Triumph quest from the speaker. And let me tell you guys, this isn't short and simple, it really ain't. Now there are many steps to it which I'll run you guys through right now. The first part of the quest is for you to complete 5 weekly story missions from the weekly story playlist. Once you have done that you are then on the eternal vigilance part of the quest where you have to complete 3 patrol missions on the following destinations. The Cosmodrome, the Plaguelands, the Moon, Mars, Venus and the Dreadnought. Which isn't hard to do but it is time consuming. The next part of the quest is called Shining Your Light, in which you can do one of two things. You can either kill three champions summoned by antiquated runes within the court of Oryx, or kill three perfected champions summoned within the Arkans Forge. Once you've done that, you need to go and have a chat with the speaker. He will then guide you to complete three Seaver Crisis Strikes. Once you have done that, the next step is called In the Gloom. Here you have to complete a weekly nightfall. Once you have done that, the next step is called Up to the Challenge. Here you have to complete the Challenge of the Elders. Remember, a sigil to get into the Challenge of the Elders is required to enter. This can be brought from Varix within the Reef. Once you have completed the Challenge of the Elders, the next step is called Victory or Death. Here you have to complete two Crucible Bounties obtained from Lord Shax. Now don't get these mixed up with the normal Crucible Bounties. These are actually obtained from Shax himself. He brings two per week now and they are kind of long themselves to complete. They normally consist of seven completed matches within a certain game mode, primary kills and two associated with the actual game mode the bounty is for. For example, control, you have to capture 15 control points and get a beeline medal, which is basically capturing the B flag first within a match. They ain't hard to do, but they do take a while and they can get a little tedious for the average PvE player. But once you've done that, you can now rest as the quest for the Red Memorial is complete. Simply head back to the speaker to collect your rewards. I say rewards because you also get a random legendary weapon for this part of the quest too. So yes guys, now you have the Red Memorial Source Regime Exotic Ornament. Which I actually like, I mean it looks retro, it looks old school, but I actually like the look of it. It ain't as good as the other Source Regime Ornament, but it's still one for the collection. Now this actually doesn't finish this quest. At the moment this is the stage I am at though. But I thought I'd share it with you guys anyway because of the speculation about this second Suros ornament and how it's obtained. If this quest does offer anything unique, I will be sure to share it with you guys in a video. But that guys is it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it helped you out also. Subscribe if you're new around here and enjoy daily Destiny videos. Hit that bell button seen next to the subscribe button to receive email notifications when I upload. That's if you wanna. But thanks as always for stopping by. I appreciate the support and as always guys, I will see you on that next one.